Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here. In today's video, I got seven empty hand strikes for you that are powerful strikes. You can start working these out today, all right? Let's get to it. Hit the thumbs up button, click the subscribe button, tell me in the comments, what do you think about my dojo today? I'm in the middle of an orange grove. Number one is a slap. I'm gonna keep the fingers held loosely together, slightly cupping the hands. This target would be going right to the ear, temple, it's mandible, whole side of the face. Boom. Let's take a look at number one. Technique number two is the hammer fist. Forehand, backhand. Close it out, almost the same exact mechanics as the slap, just closing the fist and making a hammer for some strong impact hitting. Let's take a look at technique number two. Technique, that low. Number three, elbow strike. Bending that elbow all the way, making that bone really protrude out, and that's what we're hitting with. You got the smashing elbow right here, and then you got the cutting elbow right here with the tip. We can come across horizontal, downward diagonal for extra power, or a sneaky shot coming right up on that 45 degrees, or vertical. Let's take a look at technique number three. Technique number four. We're gonna look at the outside hack right here using the form on the outside. We're gonna hack in lots of power, lots of protection with this one. We're hitting, slamming this form right into the jaw, right into the neck of the opponent. Full power. We got brokens and we've got fluids for extra power. The next technique is the inside form where we hit with the inside right here all the way through. This is just like the thrust of the knife going all the way through like a closed lining technique. You can go right across the face, right across the neck. Good strike that takes us all the way into the dumog and into the takedowns. Let's take a look at this inside form technique. Technique number six, very powerful tool, underestimated tool, is the headbutt. We're gonna use the top part of our head because it is the thickest, most structural sound part of our skull. Least amount of nerves, most amount of bone. We don't use the forehead like you see in the movies. We use the top of the head, grabbing them by the neck or by the ears and slamming their face or the side of their face right into the top of our head. Last technique is the open hand jab. This one's all about speed. We're coming in with that open hand jab, either hitting with that blade edge right here, or you can even hit with the palm. Nice thing about this one, if you got a little too close or your opponent came in, all you do is start hitting them with the form, a little bit more leverage. You can sneak these in, single jabs, or you can go with a double fast jab right there. You can hit with the jab and to finish off, cut them open with a quick elbow. Let's take a look at the open hand jab. There you 
you got it. Seven empty hand striking techniques from Filipino martial arts. Hit the thumbs up button for more of this, especially if you like this orange grove that I get to train in right now. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button and tell me in the comments which of these seven techniques is your favorite. Do you like the fast jab for speed? Do you like elbow and the headbutt for maximum power and cutting damage to the opponent? All right, or do you like that powerful slap? Or do you prefer the fist closed with the hammer fist? You tell me in the comments below which one of these are your favorite. Check out all of our new training courses we have over at our new online training academy. You can also check out our DVD downloads. We've got the empty hands DVD download also. And I got all the links and a discount code in the comments below just for you watching this video. All right. I'll see you next time. I'm going to go ahead and start picking some of these oranges.